Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna to do a review and show you how to turn your Roomba mop into a like a surveillance camera or something. So I saw a news article about this. I wanna see if it works. I've got the Roomba J7 and the J7 Plus with the mopping attachment. And that's the one I'm gonna be using it on. I've got the app. So we gotta go into the app and apparently we gotta get this beta. So we gotta click on this robot beta and join beta. Okay, so it says we're working on new beta features for you to explore, but you're not quite ready. Check back often and be the first to test out the latest. Okay. Okay, so yesterday it told me that I wasn't um, able to get the iRobot beta, and I thought I wasn't going to be able to do this video, but then today I went to do something on my Roomba. When I opened the app, it says now it looks like I can do the update, or I can do the beta, and so I can turn on remote check-in. So I don't know exactly how I got to this point. Yesterday, I, tr I turned it on yesterday and it said, we're not accepting any more positions. So, and then the next day, this came up whenever I opened up the app. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. Press the mops button. I've got four minutes to do that, okay. So I gotta come over here and press the mop button. Okay, so it says the camera's ready. Mop Roomba is ready to check in on your home. You'll know the camera is on when the button shines green and the Mop Roomba chirps. Okay, let's click next. Remote check-in is added. Tap here. Then select check-in or get started. Tap here. Okay, so... Okay, so now when I tap that up there, the new job... Check in must be the camera. So let's do check in, start live view. So it's backing up from the dock. So the camera is backing up. Okay, so almost immediately the camera does come on. So the, the, the robot backed up from the base station, turned around, and now, oh, I can, I can adjust it. Now the whole time the camera's on, that green circle is like is green and flashing, and I'm hearing a chirp once in a while. And the lens, the, the flash is on the front. But I want you to hear that chirp. It doesn't happen all the time. Yeah, there's the chirp. Okay, so now let's move it. So I press the right arrow, it turned right. This is a pretty neat feature. So I'm telling it to go forward now. That seems to be, okay, so it's going forward. Okay, so it's kind of slow, let's, it doesn't go forward very much. Let's see if I hold it. Okay, so if I hold it, it goes a lot. Now let's go right. Let's go right. And then if I hold the button, yeah, it turns fast. What happens if it hits something? So yeah, that's pretty nice. Okay, so the camera has a pretty wide angle as far as up, down. You know, it goes all the way to the ceiling, all the way to the floor. Left and right is pretty wide. You can see it's kind of pointing. Then there's kind of the area that it's pointing. So the resolution is, you know, relatively clear. Now, when I stopped moving, it, it kind of turns the motor off and it's just sitting there. That light on the front is still on. And I still have live view. Okay, so it looks like I can take a picture. You gotta give it access to your photos. So it says, says image was saved, let's do that. Oh, that's, that's turning the rotation. That's nice, I can rotate it and get a better, you know, better picture. Um, let's take a picture again. History, okay, so 
really can't do anything. Oh, wait a minute. If I touch the screen, it kind of moves, I think. So touching the screen is a little like opposite of what you would think. So when I move it this way, it rotates. Yeah. Okay. I, okay. It's rotating the camera. So that's all I can do is rotate it. To get it to move forward, I do have to hold this button. Yeah, it's pretty accurate too. Okay, so when I go back to the main menu on the iRobot, we've got this live button now. It says it's live streaming. I can view the live stream or I can end and go home. Let's go to view. It takes a little bit, but it's usually pretty quick. This one's taking a little bit longer this time. So it's been in about a minute. It hasn't gone to live view. Let's go back. Let's go back to view live stream. Okay, so yeah, it just must have been a little bit of a glitch. And I got control of it again. Let's go back. New job. So I can do clean and check in. Yeah, this is pretty neat. So I do want to end and go home. There was one other feature I want to try. There was like some points. Or it looked like I could go to different points. So I'm going to try a new one. Okay, so it went home. It didn't it didn't vacuum out the vacuum, but it does say saving smart map. Okay, so now when I scroll down here, there's a little green dot by the iRobot beta. And then I can click that. So it looks like I could turn it off. So say I didn't like that. I could turn that off, but I'm going to leave it on. Now let's go, I, I thought there was another one. So let's do a check-in. Again, we're going to turn the camera on. Open my viewpoints. So I did, first I did start live view. Let's open my viewpoints. Huh. I can add viewpoints. So that way, take me to the map. Oh, I can add viewpoints to the map. So that way, oh, there's a little icon down here that says viewpoints. Add a viewpoint. Oh, wow. This is pretty nice. So I got to drag the pin. Let's drag it right here. Something pretty easy. Continue. Next, send my, yeah, send it. That's really nice. That way I don't have to, um, so say there's always a place you want to look, add a drop pin and that way you can select it. So now the robot is going right to that. I don't have to steer it. It's going right to that viewpoint. And it does it kind of quick too. Now, while it's going there, I don't see a live view. Maybe it's just buffering or something, but I don't see the view yet. Hopefully it will when it gets there. So it it's it looks like it's there and now it turned on the live view. Now now I can I can move this. Yeah, that's pretty nice. So I want to hit say oh, I guess I could turn it to where I wanted the view, actual viewpoint to be. So let's say I want to look underneath the couch. Say I want to look right there. So I'll hit save viewpoint. So I bet when it goes, choose a name. Let's do custom. Let's do um, couch. Okay, it says viewpoint added. I could, I could add a bunch of viewpoints. That's a pretty neat feature. 
um, this that's this is really nice. I can see where this is going to be really nice. That it it takes you right to the viewpoint, and you can turn the camera and save it so it goes right to that each time. So again, I'm in live mode. Okay, let's go view live stream. And we're back to live stream. So yeah, this is, I really do like this. Okay, so let's see, I'm back to the main menu. Let's see if we can like start it to clean or something. Let's do, let's do a clean. Let's do family. Yeah, it won't let me. Oh, maybe it will. Family, one pass. So it looks like, yeah, it doesn't let me. So we do have to send it back, end and go home. So I was able to do this on the J7 Plus with the mopping attachment. I'm pretty sure it works on the other J7. Um, be sure and check out my other videos. I've got how to, a detailed video on how to clean your uh, robot vacuum if you're having trouble with it. If you could, underneath the video, give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. So I hope my video helped. Thanks, everybody, for watching.